Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will learn how to use units of measure to guide the solution of multi-step problems and interpret units consistently in formulae. Now in our earlier session, we have learned how to convert units of measure from one unit to another in continuation with that, in this session, we will discuss how to convert weights and units of areas and volumes. Now let us discuss how to convert weights. Now we know when a rate is simplified, it has denominator as 1, that is, unit rate for example Sam gives two cards per week to his grandmother now a derived unit is a unit that is derived from a measurement system based unit such as length mass or time like square feet miles per hour, cubic meter, etc. Now let us discuss unit ratio. Now a unit ratio is a ratio in which denominator is one unit. For example, we have one yard is equal to three feet now we can write it as unit ratio 3 feet upon 1 yard. Similarly, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters and we can write it as unit ratio. 1000 meters upon 1 kilometer. So here we can see unit ratio is the ratio in which denominator is 1 unit. Now you must note that to convert from larger unit to smaller unit multiply by appropriate unit ratio and to convert from smaller unit to larger unit multiply by the reciprocal of the unit ratio. Now let us discuss an example for this. Now here we have to convert 153 miles per hour to feet per second. Now first see here we have two units miles and R. Now here unit of length that is miles will be converted to other unit of length that is feet and unit of time that is R will be converted to other unit of time that is second now here, let us denote R by H and second by S and minutes by simply writing M I N. Now 153 miles per hour can be written as unit rate 153 miles upon 1 hour now first of all we will convert 153 miles into feet and then we convert 1 hour to seconds now 
we know that 1 mile is equal to 5280 feet and this can be written as unit ratio 5280 feet upon 1 mile now to convert larger unit miles to smaller unit feet multiply it by this unit ratio so 153 miles is equal to 153 miles into 5280 feet upon 1 mile Now let us convert 1 hour into seconds. Now we know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So 1 hour is equal to 60 into 60 seconds which is equal to 3600 seconds. So we have 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds and it can be written as unit ratio 3600 seconds upon 1 hour. And now to convert larger unit R to smaller unit second we multiply 1 hour by this unit ratio so 1 hour is equal to 1 hour into 3600 seconds upon 1 hour now dividing out the common units this implies 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds now, 153 miles upon 1 hour will be equal to, now here, 153 miles is equal to, now again dividing out the common units, it will be 153 into 5280 feet and 1 hour is equal to 3000 600 seconds so this is equal to 153 into 5280 feet upon 3600 seconds now 240 into 15 is 3600 and 240 into 22 is 5280 now 15 into 1 is 15 and 15 into 10.2 is 153 so this is equal to 224.4 feet upon 1 second thus 153 miles per hour is equal to 224.4 feet per second and now let us discuss a multi step problem and here we have to find area of a rectangle that is 48 inches by 10 yards. Now here you can see that both the dimensions of this rectangle have different units. One is in inches and other is in yards. Now in the first step we will convert both the dimensions into same unit. Here, let us convert both the dimensions into inches. Now, one dimension is already in inches. So, let us convert 10 yards into inches. Now, we know that 1 yard is equal to 3 feet and 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. 
So, 1 yard is equal to 3 into 12 inches which is equal to 36 inches. So, 10 yards will be equal to 10 into 1 yard which is equal to 10 into now 1 yard is 36 inches so on multiplying this is equal to 360 inches now in step 2 let us find area of rectangle now we know that area of rectangle is length into breadth now length is 48 inches and breadth is 360 inches so this is equal to 48 inches into 360 inches and on multiplying this is equal to 17,280 square inches now to find area, volume, perimeter etc the dimensions that is length, width, height, radius of the geometrical figure should have same units of measure. Now let us see how to convert units of area. Now units of area are of the form square foot, square inch, square centimeter, etc. Now as we used unit ratios to convert units of length similarly we will use unit ratios to convert units of area now let us discuss an example for this here we have to convert 3 square feet into square inches now we know that 1 square foot is equal to 1 foot into 1 foot so, 3 square feet will be equal to 3 into 1 square foot which is equal to 3 into 1 foot into 1 foot. Now, 1 foot is equal to 12 inches which can be written as unit ratio 12 inches upon 1 foot now to convert larger unit feet into smaller unit inches we multiply feet by this unit ratio now 3 square feet which is equal to 3 into 1 foot into 1 foot will be equal to 3 into 1 foot into 12 inches upon 1 foot into 1 foot into 12 inches upon 1 foot now dividing out the common units this is equal to 3 into 12 inches into 12 inches which is equal to 4 32 square inches so we get 3 square feet is equal to 432 square inches so in this session we have learnt how to use units of measure to guide the solution of multi-step problems and this completes our session hope you all have enjoyed the session